Hey everybody, Scout Crafty here again. Mishmash Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Uh, today's video is going to be something a little bit different. No restorations or anything. We're just going to talk about clamps. Clamps, you say. What are you talking about clamps for? Well, last week I did a video and uh, we were speaking. I, I happened to mention a clamp I wasn't too fond of and a lot of people responded in the comments. And I don't want to come off as a clamp hater. As you know, I do like my clamps, but just that one Bessie I'm not too crazy about. So that's why I'm doing this kind of response video. It's just going to be a clamp video. So I'm just giving you a quick disclaimer. But if you have any kind of interest in clamps, I think you'll enjoy the video. Anyway, let's get right to it. Now, there are literally thousands of different types, styles of clamps and things like that. So to try and go through them all, be uh, ridiculous. But uh, what we're going to do is try and determine what clamps are used for, who uses them the most. And uh, let's get started with now, this. Now, there are hundreds of reasons to use clamps, either to hold something temporary, to act as a third hand, or uh, to hold things while something glues up, like carpenters would use. And a lot of times when you're using clamps as a carpenter, we're gluing something. So we put glue on between two pieces and we want to clamp it together. The problem is, as we all know, when you put glue, it acts almost as a lubricant. So the more when you squeeze this down, if you don't squeeze it exactly right, this will tend to cock or twist and you wind up with a glue joint that is crooked because the clamp twisting turned the glue while it was uh, still wet. So that's always a problem we deal with. Uh, the same thing happens with the uh, metal workers. You know, two pieces of metal are quite slippery together. So when you're trying to clamp something, you want to run a bead of weld over here and you got to clamp it. You need something that's going to clamp it without cocking it or twisting it or throwing it askew. So that's why there are so many different kinds of clamps. Now, when I was trying to think about how I was going to present this uh, subject of clamps, I said, how can I, you know, where do you start? Do you know, there are so many different clamps. I said, you know what? Let me go to the good old Belknap catalog. Go to the clamp section. Page 135 is where it starts. And we'll just discuss it as we see it here. So uh, one of the first clamps we see here is uh, they call a hand screw. And uh, these clamps were used years ago. They were really uh, primary clamps, especially in woodworking shops and things like that. Let's talk about them real okay, quick. Okay, for when I first started uh, woodworking, the first thing I did was go out and get uh, a bunch of different clamps, all different styles. These were my great grandfathers and uh these are very interesting because they were you know they had a wood screw here but they work just like a regular one here the back screw pushes apart and this will pull or open the clamp and i'll show you how that works with the modern ones but these were the old ones they still work but you know the wooden they can become brittle the uh, threads but uh the ones we deal with now are the best brand that i know that makes these but again i don't do full-time woodworking but uh the jorgensen's and these were older again i bought these i don't know 30 40 years ago and uh, I got, you know, doubles of all these clamps, but um, they're so nicely made. They're just a beautiful clamp. And how they work, to open them, you know, you, this is to close them. To open them, you just spin it like this, and you can see it opens the jaws. But if you close or open the back or the front, you can get different angles. And what's so nice about that is if you needed to clamp something that was kind of an odd angle, you could do that with this clamp by putting it in here and just adjusting the angle to get it correct until it uh, clamps and it'll give you a perfect clamp. Here we go, you can see here, look. And uh, you know, you could do it to get that, you know, keep adjusting it to get that gap out of here, which we'll do in a second. But there we go, you see that? Now you could get, you could close this. That'll give you such a tight clamp on there. And it's an odd angle. These are fantastic, but they're a little bit time consuming to use. Woodworkers absolutely love them. Look what a classic, beautiful clamp they are. Next up, we have the screw clamps or C clamps. In uh, England, they call them G clamps because they resemble a G. They have deep throat. They have all different types of C clamps here. And uh, probably the most used or best uh, all-around clamp that you can have. Let me talk now about that. Now, here are some of my common-use clamps, and I put them on a board between two pipes. I'll show you about storage later. But let me pull one of these now, off. Now, if you're new to the channel, we've done a few of these clamps, and we like to 
ch change up the colors a little bit, you know, to see actually if you want it, you know, sometimes you don't know what kind of color you'd like on a clamp until you do it in different colors. And we've had a lot of fun with these and they're just beautiful. They're just so nice to deal with. But when you're dealing with a standard C clamp and, and you could use these for a multitude of different applications, but it's important to remember one thing when using a C clamp to get the best use out of it. And that is, um, a number one, always put some kind of lubricant in that cup of the swivel pad okay and the reason you do that is because when you tighten down on this you want that to spin you don't want it to grip here and twist your work like we were talking about before so lubricate that and also it's always good to lubricate your threads because anytime you use threads for a clamp you want them lubricated again it puts less strain less wear and you can see these are beautiful square threads on this clamp and this is a Cincinnati tools an older one but what a beautiful and heavy duty clamp it's good for you know two lifetimes at least and you clamp this up you get a, a tremendous amount of force uh, some of the drawbacks like I said is a little bit of twist the welders love these but they're not quick you know, you got to you know, open them up, close them down. There's no shortcuts. Now, it wasn't long before the C-clamp was invented that they realized the drawback was the time it took to screw that all the way up and down. It's just time is money in the production shop. So they came up with the quick release. And what how that works is just like a regular C-clamp, but with here, if you lift this lever up here, you can slide the, the threaded area in and out, close it, and then it works like a regular clamp again so that saves all that time from in and out close it tighten it up bob's your uncle now as c clamps or g clamps go there are thousands of different designs this one here is a heavy duty design again you know an antique and you can see here it has a little deeper throat when you the, the deeper the throat is the sturdier the clamp has to be made and uh, this one has an unusual shape but a very nice clamp this one here and uh, jorgensen this is probably why we call them c clamps because the early ones were very close to looking like this and again it's a c shape you know this is a rounder one and um again a heavy duty clamp uh we also have structural C clamps. Now these clamps are not made like we would normally a woodworker would use because you know the way they're made, but these clamps are made. And if you notice, they don't have a square thread on here because this is made that when it tightens down, they want it to stay tight. It's not made to loosen up easy. Uh, these are meant for attaching girders, things like that. It could be used as a semi-permanent area or also for structural when they want to make sure that uh, uh, iron workers and things like that use them. They, they clamp it in they tighten it down it could be there for a, a, you know weeks or whatever until they get the the rest of the structure up and the, or welded or whatever these are very expensive if you see these at a flea market and they're cheap you know a few dollars pick them up because these things on ebay go for big money because they're they're useful now this is an extremely heavy duty clamp it was sprayed in the high visibility paint so that you wouldn't forget it on the job or lose it at night or whatever and uh, this one's made by Hargrave you can say paid twelve dollars for this and that was a lot of money for a, a clamp but I wanted to point out if ever you see a clamps that have a copper coated uh screw drive screw that isn't because they're made of copper obviously they have to be made of steel for strength but they're copper coated to resist weld spatter and that's why you see some of them have a, a lot, all your welding clamps will usually have copper coated drive threaded rods okay next up we have spring clamps spring clamps come in handy they're always good to now, have now uh, spring clamps like the rest of the clamps come in all different sizes in, in different strengths and and these typically you buy them by you know a half a dozen at a time they usually you can get them for a dollar or two each so just buy six or so you need to have a bunch around the shop they come in real small sizes which can come in handy but uh if you notice when you're going to buy your clamp you could see the difference in the price because you can see here this is an inexpensive look at the thickness of that metal there you know so this is a very cheaply made clamp uh it it'll work but it's not as thickly made as you can see this one here is a little bit better made again these are chinese you know but you can still find i think you can find american ones um i usually get these at home depot but when you grab and you're looking for them give them a squeeze because 
you know, you might want this one here might be a easier clamp, but if you're gluing up something that you don't want to damage the wood, because this will put little dents in it, unless you put a backer board, you don't want to have to. So you want just the right amount of strength for what you're using. So sometimes you want a heavier clamp. These have nice pads on them. These are Tecton. I got these on uh, Amazon. But um, like I said, you know, when you did, obviously you can always, the harder it's squeezed, the more pressure it is. So if you put a piece of wood behind it, it'll give you more pressure. So, but they're good to have, especially for Next glue. we're going to talk about bar clamps, which is what sparked this whole conversation. And you know, bar clamps are hundreds of different types. They go back to the 1800s or even before. And let me show you some cool now, ones. This is what started this whole thing because I wasn't crazy about this Bessie clamp. You know, I just, I, I'm, you know. I don't like them. I don't like them. And I'll show you why. I'm a bar clamp fan. A lot of people thought I was coming down on bar clamps. I wasn't. I'm a bar clamp fan. I just don't like these. Let me show you the ones that... What now, I like. this is a proper bar clamp. Do you see the difference? Can you see what we're talking about here? This is a proper bar clamp. This will give you tremendous... And uh, look at this. Style number 18. I don't even know who made this. It's patented. Oh, I can't even see that. Maybe you could see it. I can't see it here. 1800 and something, but this is a bar clamp. I mean, and look at this. It's got a spring in there. You see this, this don't have this, this don't have a spring in here. This is just, you know, back and forth. It always flutters. This has a spring. So when you push it up like this, it'll stay where you're holding it. This is, you know, 100 and something years old. It still works. It gives you tremendous force. Look at that clamping pad. That's a bar clamp proper bar clamp. here's another style of bar clamp uh again this one was designed you could tell that circle h that's hargrave that was his he designed this but it says uh ct co and uh again beautiful clamp with that spring in there it doesn't move doesn't rattle nice swivel pad i like i like it like that you know some of the ones that have the rod give you more but that's that's where you have problems this is this is designed that you're not going to put too much pressure on here. Just a beautiful clamp, right? Here, now, a modern clamp that's a decent clamp. You know, this is a, a Bessie, okay? Like this one here. But again, do you see here? These, this is what makes all the difference. You know, this is the release that you squeeze it together that allows you to move this up and down and not and won't slide, won't slip on you. That's why. I, so I'm not down on bar clamps, but... This one here is a, is a modern equivalent. That's a decent Here's one. Here's another style, you know, uh, again, another Bessie. But uh, this one here don't have that spring, but it still has something in there to stop it. And it locks much easier because it has a longer jaw. This get, will give you tremendous force. Square threads on here. Uh, square Acme, rather. And uh, again, and it has this little tab on here, which is nice because when you, you can put this like this and it will hold it level you know what i mean if you're clamping a couple of these up that's what that tab is for you can have a few uh, clamps and hold uh, it this like is that. the bar clamp that started this conversation here you know the, the quicker i like this one now this is the modern version of this and this one just is not the same it doesn't and i don't know why i don't know why it's lighter you could feel it it's not the same quality and uh shame on china for for you know they they pump out these items that look just like the original, but they're they're a copy and a cheap copy and a non-working copy. Just I'll never forgive them for ruining the pencil. Remember the pencil, the best invention ever, and they just ruined it because they put out ones that look just like a pencil, but had nothing like the original pencil. So anyway, uh, these are a bar clamp. But a lot of guys were saying the problem with these is sometimes these pads will will slide, which they do. But again, what's nice is it gives you a parallel pressure one-handed not many clamps you can operate one hand other than these so i i still stand behind saying that these are great obviously not for welding they're plastic or they're a fiber but super lightweight you need again about five or six of these if you're going to do any kind of work for glue ups or anything and another thing is this is great to get your clamping started and then you could add c clamps and remove these so you know don't think this is an all this you know you can only have one clamp only a maniac would have one hammer or one clamp now one type of bar clamp i just want to point out is these here now this is a knockoff because i'll tell you the truth i wanted to try these out and i didn't want to spend a lot of money i want to see how they work this is a not and you could see it's kind of crude the, the grinds on there right 
But the, I don't know if this is a Harbor Freight or what, but these work fantastic. Even the knockoffs, they just, the design is great. Um, you can see here now, again, it's it's got that loose thing that I don't like that don't hold it. But once you put a little bit of pressure on here, the way it's designed, it really gives you a tremendous amount of force that you could put on here. And like I said, even the knockoffs work. Um, they call it like it's an F clamp type and you'll find them in welding supply. But, uh, you know, obviously the good ones are really good, but they're more expensive. But even the cheap ones, if you've never tried one of these, next time you're at Harbor Freight, they're only a few dollars. Pick them up and, and you'll see it could come in really handy. Uh, they work well. There's very few moving parts, you know, there's only three parts to it. It's just a nice little clamp. They work good. The welders love these things. Okay, last up, I don't want to keep, I could go on for clamps. We can, I can, I didn't even touch one sixteenth of the amount of clamps I have. But anyway, these are bar clamps. These things are fantastic if you're going to be doing any kind of furniture making. Glue ups, glue ups is where you glue boards together to make a longer board. Uh, they're just terrific, and if you're a woodworker, you know what they are. Um, I, I bought these ponies. I have six foot, I have five six foot one or six six foot ones that I use to make all my furniture upstairs. But I have smaller ones here. This is a, a four foot one. This one here is a three foot one. Uh, they came in two different sizes. Uh, this one here, I believe, is one inch pipe. This one here might be. Uh, hit, uh, five eighths, maybe. They come in different size. Pony still makes them really good clamp you can't beat them you, you what you do is you buy the actual head like this comes in a kit and then you buy a piece of pipe at the hardware store now uh how these work you know you, you got the springs here that you can lock them in where you want they got that little ledge on the bottom here that'll rest on it and then you could lay your boards here and you could tighten it down to do your clamp up or whatever you can use them a hundred different ways um this one here is the same thing, but heavier duty uh, because it uses the larger pipe and you can get some tremendous pressure on here. I like this because it's got that cool handle on the back, you know, this type of, you know, handle that uh, makes it just much easier. Now, the newer style that they have is this one here like this. Let me show you this here. This is a, a little different style. This is made by Jet. You could see here now. You're going to notice the first thing you're going to notice in here. It's called a parallel clamp. Can you see that parallel clamp? Uh, it's a 24 inch drawer opening, it says, but a lot of plastic in here, you know, so that, that's kind of a little bit of a turn off, right? But how this works is there's a little lever here. You squeeze that lever and you, okay, you pull this up, pull this down like this to open it and uh, you can slide it forward to close it to get where you want. And then this moves that whole carriage. I have to tell you, I haven't used it obviously a lot, you know, I don't think I use this at all. But uh, maybe the woodworkers out there can tell me how they like them. Because, you know, to me, you know, the problem with a lot of these mechanisms is that's just problems waiting to happen. You know, it says lifetime warranty. Good luck 10 years from now trying to cash this in if you have a problem. This thing here, I think, almost unbreakable. You know, unless you break that casting, you've got to put tremendous force on there. But, you know, uh, I know Dave, my buddy Dave, old Sneelock, he's got a bunch of these. He swears by them. I have a bunch, and that they're the way to go. But uh, let me know if you have these, if you use them in a shop, you're a woodworker, what you, you think of that. you get a lot of clamps, you got to get imaginative on how to store your clamps. Every pipe in the ceiling. Every piece of conduit in the back. boards between a pair of shelves. An old workbench. Or hanging between some steam pipes. Okay, so you just spent 20 minutes <laughs> of your life uh, watching a video about talking about clamps. And and uh, I don't know, I, I find that I can go on for an hour or two hours. I mean, we can cover so many clamps. I can't twist clamps and, and specialty clamps and other clamps that I have that we didn't cover. But... Do you see how you can you go into a rabbit hole with this clamp thing? So uh, anyway, it's just a video to let you know. I don't, I don't, I'm not down on, on bar clamps, just those, those Bessies. So hope you uh, enjoyed it. Have a great video planned for Wednesday. Uh, I'm kind of excited because I'm going to start right away filming it. So uh, talk to you then. Have a good day. Take care now. Bye-bye.